Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Clockify with Jira. Uh, first of all, we have to create ourselves an account if we don't have one running for us already at clockify.me uh, and uh, we want to go to the left part of our screen as you can see and we want to scroll all the way down and we want to hit a settings button. Once we are here uh, we want to go to integrations. Uh, the only thing that you can integrate for free is actually Jira. So you just click on the Jira and uh, install Jira plugin. Uh, that's basically the one way how you can do it after reading all the things that you should do in the process and actually getting the plugin. The second way around is to use zapier.com which is very uh, useful uh, application for integrations so as you can see once you create an account you want to go to the top left corner and to this black button and you want to make a zap so let's click on make a zap as you can see on your top left corner you can name the zap like Clockify to Jira, for example. And now uh, we can set up the trigger. The trigger starts with, uh, uh, with the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Clockify. Now we have to choose an event. Uh, so you can pick from all of those events. So let's go with the first one, new project, for example continue now we have to log in with the account uh, you will be asked for api key that uh, you will find uh, in options top right corner profile and you scroll all the way down and you, there is your api key so we click on the account we hit continue uh, there should be a workspace like ruffles uh, workspace Continue, and now we can test our trigger. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the second action will be provided by Jira. Uh, as you can see, you can pick from three options, cloud, servers, or desk. So let's go with the cloud, choose an event. And there's a four to pick from. So let's go with the first one. We click continue. And now the last thing is we have to log into the account that we uh, that we already created at Jira. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.